Richard Southern joins us once again. We're chatting about some of the more interesting stories of the day. And Richard, new research shows that Mondays can actually be hazardous to our health. Yeah, I hope everyone's all right today because, Eric, a new research out of the UK finds heart attacks happen much more often on Mondays than they do any other day of the week. Likelihood of a heart attack happening on a Monday, 13% greater than any other day, according to this new research. The experts say it's likely due to increased stress as the pressures of working life ramp back up after your nice relaxing weekend uh, would they also saw some increased rates of cardiac admissions to hospitals on Sundays because of course Erica we get the Sunday scaries before we get the case of the Mondays right mm -hmm. I mean does this make sense are you are you stressed out you find more on a Monday uh, it does make sense people are more stressed if they're working Monday to Friday sort of nine to five and I was just about to mention the Sunday scaries I guess there's data to back that up too right I All know, right. you start thinking about the new work week. Yeah. Not great. Students in Japan are learning how to smile again as more people shed their face masks after the COVID-19 pandemic. They are going in big numbers in Japan, Erica, to smile lessons. Yes, they teach you how to put a nice smile on your face. Take a look at some of this uh, imagery we're getting in from these smile classes, Erica. Look at this. Uh, $55 per hour the Japanese are paying for this. And uh, the classes have seen a fourfold surge in demand. Yes, the big reason believed to be the fact that uh, the Japanese have uh, adhered to stringent masking requirements for so long that many people have just forgotten how to smile. Being taught is what they call the Hollywood uh, smile technique, which they say you want a crescent eyes, round cheeks and you should show exactly eight of your upper row teeth to get that perfect <laughs> smile Erica. I'll be counting from now on am I showing eight teeth exactly it's, it's nice just we should be smiling at each other more I think it's a good thing right that everyone <laughs> you smile back and everyone's happier I thought they were doing lessons because maybe they forgot how to smile because everything was so terrible for a long time <laughs> everything was bad we're doing great another lockdown yeah yay. <laughs> All right, finally, if you're going to go, you might as well go in style. A UK funeral home is making headlines with their custom coffins. Oof. Yeah, this is the new big thing, Eric. I'm going to show you some of them. Uh, the UK funeral home uh, doing this, apparently doing a brisk business in custom coffins. Everything from uh, the Doctor Who time machine to a pint of beer. Uh, they did one with a bottle of whiskey. There's Star Wars themed, Game of Thrones and Walking Dead themed, basically to represent what the deceased person wanted. The funeral home says they're hoping to break down the taboo of talking about death by offering some of these lighthearted custom coffins. Um, but I mean, do you really care? It's, you know, when you're six feet under, it doesn't really matter too much what's on your coffin to you, I right? I guess not, right? Okay, thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. On that note, see you tomorrow, Erica.